In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect the K1 Live sound card to a mixer, and I will also be showing you a sample recording in this setup. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, these are all the cords and stuff we will need in this uh, setup. Let me show you two cords cables on here. So th that is the stereo uh, TS to 3.5 mm TRS. So the one that has two lines and this one has one line only over there. Uh, if you have this one, you should be good. Or if you have this one, you do not need to have both, but uh, you can use this one also later for something else if you want, if you have them. But again, if you're if your purpose is just to connect your K1 Live sound card to a mixer, either one of this cord, you should be able to connect them. So this one is the RCA to uh, 3.5 TRS. So again, the one that has uh, two lines. First, let me show you to use uh, this one. Okay, so let's connect this one to, to the one that says stereo out. And then the other end, we're going to connect here on this K1 Live sound card. So you just have to select mic. So there are two ports for my condenser microphone on here. We'll, be, we'll use one. So you just select this one or this one. It should be the same. So let's uh, connect it to the one over here. Okay. And I will be using a headset or a headphone to monitor the audio. And this uh, headset I will be uh, connecting to monitor. So you can connect it to either headset or monitor. I'm just going to be connecting it to the monitor. And of course, we're going to connect uh, this uh, XLR cable for the condenser microphone. Okay, so of course, that's what it looks like. One end goes here. We'll just use the very first one there. And of course, the other end goes here. Okay, so one of these I will be connecting to this phone here because what I will be doing is I am going to record what I am doing so that I can share to you also what I am hearing from this headphone or earphone or headset. Okay, so I will connect one end to here, you just select live one or live two. So this is also a setup of, let's say for example, you want to record or do, uh, or doing live streaming. So again, one end here, I'm just gonna use live one. And by the way, this cord comes when you purchase this K1 Live sound card. So it's TRS on both ends. So the one that has uh, three lines. And the other end, I will be connecting to this phone. So if you have an Android phone, you can connect it directly. But uh, if uh, you have an iPhone like this that does not have an audio jack on it, then you will need this lightning audio adapter. Okay, so let's connect the other end here. The background music, because I'll be showing you a sample recording. Uh, let's connect first them. So you, let's connect this one to here using this uh, cord, but it's up to you. You can also connect them using uh, Bluetooth. So to connect them using with a wire, you just connect one end. So use one of this uh, cord. Again, TRS on both ends. So one, one end to be connected here, the one that says accompaniment. And then the other end will connect to this uh, iPad. Or if you have a, if you have, let's say a tablet, iPad or or any device, maybe a, a laptop, then just locate the headphone port or, or jack of that uh, device. Then that's where you're gonna connect your accompaniment from this one. So, or in other words, wherever is the source of your background music. Okay, we're all set. This is my uh, setup for the settings on this mixer. So as you can see, almost uh, everything here are uh, 12 o'clock, except this one, the effect is a little bit, maybe one o'clock, and then the volume for the microphone, I just placed it maybe at 10 or 11 o'clock. But again, you can still change that uh, later. As I mentioned, I will be recording what I am doing. By the way, um, this uh, phone here, I will be using the built-in uh, camera of this iPhone. So I'm going to open it now. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna put on my headset and of course I'm gonna turn this on. Two to three seconds. Let's turn on also this mixer. I'm gonna start recording now over here. Okay, there it is. Sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. 
Okay, so what you're hearing right now, that is now the audio coming out from this setup. So from this mixer to this K1 live sound card. But as you notice, there is a little bit of effects, but that effects is only coming from this mixer right now. But if I'm going to put a little bit more effects from this K1 live sound card, then it's going to be uh, like that sound check. And of course, the volume for the microphone is from here and also from the mixer because uh, this microphone is connected from this mixer so in other words you can you can make it louder from here and also from here okay i'm going to show you so here as i showed you earlier the microphone is only at 10 or 11 o'clock if i'm going to turn it up then it's going to be like that so it, it will get uh, louder and also you can also there there is this is the main volume of uh, whatever is connected here so it's, which is this microphone so if i'm going to turn it up it will uh, going to go up also so something like that and again as i mentioned because this uh, mixer is connected to this uh, k1 live sound card you can also make your voice louder from here if you would like so something like that test sound check testing so maybe i'm just going to put it over there and i'm just going to make it uh, I'm just going to turn it up from the mixer, so something like that. And for the effects, so it's up to you to play around. You can control the effects from the mixer itself, or you can add some more from here. Let's say, for example, okay, so the echo is, uh, okay, so the echo is, uh, is maybe, maybe uh, one third only, something like that. And if you want more reverb uh, from this mixer, you can. So wherever is the effects on here, just play around with it. So let's say, for example, uh, this one, the one that says effects, so I'm just going to, or effect, I'm just going to turn it up, the sound check, testing one, two, so it should sound like that. And more effect return from here, sound, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. So again, this is the advantage of uh, connecting this to a mixer because you can, uh, you will have more control when it comes uh, to your audio. But again, if you are contented, let's say, for example, we are good at this uh, setting and we'll, we will just add some more echo from here, then we should be good. Okay, so now, as I showed you earlier, the instrument or the background or the accompaniment is, uh, is connected using this wire. I'll show you using Bluetooth connections later. Okay, so as to my uh, settings on here, the monitor here, this is the... Uh, uh, this is the one you can hear from the headset and of course the volume here this is the main volume of pretty much everything on here uh, except the specific uh, sound effects on here like this this minion you won't hear this one like the call song laughing you will not uh, hear them unless this specific volume is turned up and then that is the only time we will be able to hear the sound effects okay so something like that Okay, there it is. Okay, so again, if it's low, uh, at zero, even if you press uh, aggregate, crow, whip, gun, uh, you will not hear any sound effects. Okay, and uh, for the, for the uh, uh, record here, because I am recording it right now, or if you are doing a live streaming in this setup, make sure all the time that the record volume uh, slider here is always on high because if it's low uh, you will not uh, be able to record it or maybe uh, the recorded audio is very uh, low the volume okay so uh, and the accompaniment the volume for the background music will depend also on here of course if it's low then we will uh, not be uh, able to hear it so let's try playing this uh, let's say this background music okay we could hardly hear it let me turn this up okay so if you think it is not uh, loud enough and uh, the maximum volume here is already like that let's play it again and it's not uh, so you think it is not loud enough maybe your source of the accompaniment is uh, uh, is not loud yet so we can turn the volume uh, up from here as well okay, so something like that so might as well turn it up and then just uh, control the volume from here so something like that okay let's just pause this one 
smooth there. Okay, and the sound on here, um, if you are going to use, uh, let's say, if you're going to connect a speaker, then that is the use of this uh, sound volume. Um, I will be uh, adding a, a link uh, below under description how to use the sound uh, volume knob on here. That is, if you're going to connect a speaker, external speaker, then you can control it from here. Because we will not be connecting an external speaker, then uh, this should be good at low or at zero. And of course, the light here is just a light for your key keypad on here. So it's up to you, however way you want to use this one or whatever is the purpose. Uh, you can use this one here too, like this sound effect. So if you want to use that, or maybe this one here, then feel free to use them. And uh, maybe a check first, wherever or whichever of this option uh, you want uh, you want to use. Okay, so let's just uh, go back to here. And uh, by the way, if you do not want sound effects, let's say for some reason you want your voice to be flat, just uh, hit the dry. Uh, dry option on here but there it is so as you notice there is still a little bit of sound effects that is because uh, from this mixer but if I'm going to turn the effects uh, from the uh, mixer then you should sound uh, like that okay let's just put it back and let's uh, turn off the dry okay there it is okay and for singing purposes it's up to you whatever is your preferred uh, audio so I would normally uh, go to even my so something like that, because even if the echo is at zero, uh, then uh, you don't have to turn it up because the even mine has its, its own built-in uh, effects already when it comes to vocals. But again, it's up to you. Maybe let's uh, change it to anchor. There it is. Okay, so, so at least in this uh, setup, it's up to you if you want to add more echo or less echo, and then you can control it from here also. Maybe if you do not want uh, more echo, then turn it like that. Okay, so now let's... Um, oh, by the way here, the dudge. Uh, the dudge is... Uh, uh, it's up to you if you want to use the dudge uh, from here, or you can use them both. The dudge button and the volume knob. So the use of this two... Um, okay, let me show you. Let's play this one here. Okay, I'm going to turn on the dudge over here. And if I'm going to, uh, so now that the dutch is at zero, you will notice when I stop talking, the, the background music is there right away. Okay, so I'm going to talk again and then I'm going to stop talking and then you will notice what happened to the background music. Okay, so it's there, it's there right away. But if the dutch is, the turn, if the volume here is turned up, so which means uh, if I'm going to stop talking, there is still, a, there is a little bit of delay before the background music kicks in. Okay, there it is. So I don't know if you noticed that little gap. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's uh, turn it up to the max. Okay, so I hope you noticed that gap before the background music kicks in. Okay, let's turn off all of this background music. Okay. Okay, and uh, so uh, for the sound effects on here, it's up to you if you want to. Maybe you are, let's say you are doing a podcast or maybe a live streaming on Facebook or YouTube. And if you want to, to use this uh, like voice changer, for sure you can, you can do them. Let's say, for example, you want your voice to uh, change the mail. Then you will sound like that or maybe... Oh, you will sound like that. And uh, let me just uh, okay change this one. And also, uh, I hope you are aware, or if you do not know yet, you can also use this un unload uh, volume knob on here. This one also is for voice changer. So let's turn it up a little bit, and your sounds are like that. And then if you turn it some more up, then it sounds like a baby. And then if you turn it up some more, then you are, your voice is, is a male. And then some more, it's a deeper voice. And then some more, some more deeper. Okay, so that's the use of that, um, of this uh, volume knob. And the balance, so this is if you are connecting 
a left and right speaker, then that is the use of this uh, balance volume knob. And as to the middle low uh, treble, I would I normally place it in the middle. But again, it's up to you, whatever is your preference. And then the middle, I'm, I'm putting it also in the middle. And then the low is also in the middle. But again, for those who are experts, maybe they, they know what to do. But in my case, like I'm just putting them everything in the middle. Okay, so we're now all uh, set. Let's uh, try to uh, give it a sample of recording a song. Okay, so again, let's uh, play first this one here. Let's check the volume of the instrument. Okay, so I think that should be uh, good. Okay, so let's uh, play it now and let's give a little sample. So it's up to you if you want to add more effects to your voice, then feel free to turn the volume up from here. Or also, if you want to change uh, like the sound effects or the, the effects of your vocals from here, feel free to do it. Okay, maybe let's, uh, we're good at this, uh, at this setup. Let's try uh, recording a short portion of this song. <laughs> Okay, so again, that is our uh, sample recording. So what you what you just heard is the recorded uh, audio, uh, including the background music and this, of course, Pinezer microphone connected to this mixer, recorded to this uh, phone. Okay, so now let's give it a try connecting this background music wirelessly. Okay, so let's uh, remove this cord here. And now to connect the background music from this iPad to this K1 Live sound card wirelessly. So what you will do is just go to the Bluetooth settings of the device you are using as a source of your background music or instrumental. So go to Bluetooth and let's turn on the Bluetooth from here so you will see it over there. So if this is your first time to connect the K1 Live sound card, at first you won't see it here as an option uh, because the Bluetooth uh, button here is still not turned on. But if you connected this one already, it's supposed to show up here already. Okay, so let's uh, uh, turn on the Bluetooth from this K1 Live sound card so you will see it over here as an option. Okay, so as you can see, it is blinking. So that means it's uh, looking for a device uh, to pair it with. So here it is now, K1, and let's tap it for them to connect. Okay, so it's still blinking, so which means uh, it's pairing to other device. Okay, there it is. So now it's showing as connected. So what it means is uh, whatever we play on here, it will uh, be connected on here. Okay, let's go back to that uh, same uh, song. Okay, there it is. Okay, so... Let's uh, try to play it and let's uh, do a little sample again for recording. Let's stop it from there. So as you can see, it does work again. And the same thing, the, uh, the volume for the accompaniment or the background music, you can control it from here or from this uh, device as well. This time, let me show you how to use this uh, other cord. Okay, now what I will do is I'm going to remove this uh, one here. I'm just going to remove this headset too. Okay, and uh, so as I showed you earlier, the other end of this TS Mono to 3.5 mm is connected to the mic port of this K1 Live sound card. So I'm going to remove it and we will connect this one instead. So same thing, we are going to be connecting this one 
to the mic. So just uh, select mic this one or this one and it doesn't matter. So let's connect it to the same port, the first one there. And then the other end this time we will be connecting to the one that says rec out from this mixer. So simply white to white and red to red. And now let me start recording again so I can share to you the audio, what I'm hearing from my headset. Okay, there it is. Okay, so what you're hearing right now is uh, the vocals or the audio coming out from this mixer connected to this K1 Live uh, sound card. So again, uh, from the mixer, the one that says Rec Out with this uh, RCA, and then the other end, the 3.5mm uh, TRS, the one that has two lines, is connected to the mic uh, one or two of this uh, K1 Live sound card. So everything else should be the same. Uh, the only difference is we used a different chord. So as I mentioned earlier, you do not have to have both. Even one of them is, uh, is okay already. But if you have both would be great because you could use one as, uh, as your source of background music if you want to connect this background music to here instead of here. So you have lots of uh, options. Okay, let's play again this accompaniment. So again, this is already connected to here using Bluetooth. Let's try playing this one again. Okay, so as you notice, we can still hear it, hear it. If you want to, let's say, want to do live, all the setup here are still be the same, except that you will connect. So from live one or live two here, connect one, let's say live two is connected to the one you're doing for live streaming, and then the other one for recording. Or maybe you want to do two live streaming in two platforms, let's say YouTube and Facebook, you can use the live one and two uh, from this uh, K1 live uh, sound card. As you can see, they both uh, work using this RCA to TRS and also with this TS mono uh, dual or stereo TS mono to, to uh, 3.5 uh, TRS chord. If you want to see a detailed review on all the buttons pretty much on this K1 Live sound card, I'm going to add the link to my review on all the buttons of this K1 Live sound card under description. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.